Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Twilight Princess. The last time we explored around the newly not twilighted Lake Halia. We explored the Cave of Wonders and Mystery and Death, which contained far more money than we could possibly ever carry. And then we flew around on a cock. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Come here, buddy. Because uh, I was practicing this off screen, and I do believe I can nail this reliably now. Of course, now that I've said that, I'm gonna mess it up. But uh, yeah, the second chest down, not the one on the spinning platform, but the one right below that. That is indeed the one that we want. Doesn't have 100 rupees in it like the other one that we can't carry. And uh, yeah, I got some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the good news. Just to, you know, soften you up. Good news is I was messing around with the emulator. The bad news is why I, is why I was doing that, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So I was messing around with the emulator and the settings, and I believe I have fixed the background music so that it shouldn't cut out anymore. That's real good. And uh, the bad news is the reason I was messing around with that is because for some reason out in the Hyrule field, the game has just started to chug like hell. And once again, the game's speed is actually tied to the frame rate. So if you drop even a couple of frames, the game starts to actively slow down. Not just look choppy, it actually slows down. So yeah, it was dropping to unplayable levels. So I updated the emulator, I did all sorts of different things. Googled it, I spent hours fixing this issue. Now, it's fixed for the most part. Hyrule Field is playable now, it's mostly at 30, which is what the game's supposed to run at. But it's not perfect, occasionally if there's too much shit going on, it's gonna slow down. It's unfortunate, but there's just nothing I can do about that. Literally, I spent hours and hours, and this is the best it's gonna go. But like I say, it's only out in the field, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, and there's our first one over there. Now, I don't think it matters which order we go to them in. I could be wrong about that. I hope I'm not. Ow! What the hell, you dick? Stop shooting at Epona. Stop shooting at me. Okay, just get the hell out of here. We'll deal with that guy later. We meet again. You have a little more of a look of a hero than you did before. Do you feel ready to earn your next skill? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the ending blow. Now then, come at me, bro. Okay, so do you want me to beat you up? I'll do it. Die! Yeah. Okay. It's always weird to me that we're like plunging attacking our tutor. Did I do good, Sensei? Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost arts. Very well. My second skill is... The Shield Attack. Let it be hewn into your mind. Focus your mind. No matter how well-tempered a blade is, if a foe is clad in armor and bears a shield, the sword will do it no harm. When facing such a foe, you must use R to thrust your shield against the defenses of your enemy, causing the fiend to recoil. Use L to lock onto me, then try it. You have learned so much, I am sure you can see the moment when you can do a shield attack. Don't count it, bro. I'm kind of a slow learner. Eh, uh, do I... Oh, that works. Ha-ha! Excellent. Open a hole in your enemy's defenses, and use your sword to strike without hesitation. The shield attack I've just taught you can also be used to repel an enemy's projectile attacks. Ah, interesting. Would you practice then repel my magical attacks with your shield attack on? Uh, boom, son. I like that. Perfect. When your enemies are selling you with projectiles, this is how you would defeat them with ease. Done. You have learned the second of my hidden skills, the shield attack. And yeah, I noticed he said second of the skills. So I'm guessing it doesn't matter which order you go them go to them in, you still get the skills in the same order. But I have five more secrets to teach you, in time. The path to becoming the true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped all of my hidden skills, you shall be worthy of walking it. You must persist on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage, and earn the strength to conquer the great evils of the world. Do not forget your discipline with the blade, before we meet again. You lack discipline. Okay, so two down, one to go. Or I guess technically five, but I think we can only get one right now. Which is all the way back in the Ordon Spring. And speaking of which, yo, know I'm just gonna kill this guy, because otherwise he's gonna start shooting me. Get out of here, you. I don't like you. It's steady. It's really. God damn it. It's really, really sensitive when you move the stick. Which sounds, uh, you know, way dirtier than I intended. Anyway, so yeah, speaking of Ordon, 
I don't know how we're supposed to get back there. Because the bridge we originally came across to get over the side of the map, that broke. And I doubt it's going to be fixed. I don't really want to run all the way around there. However, I did notice it seems like we can leave on the right-hand side of Castletown. So I guess we're going to go on there. And you know, if the game kind of locks me in so we can't go to Ordon, I can always reload it or something, but... Yeah, I, I genuinely don't see any other... What the hell? Oh, I guess the opponent doesn't want to go in here. Yeah, I genuinely don't see any other way we could possibly get back there. Because, again, the bridge is broken. Hey! Mr. Link! Wait! What do you want, you freak? <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. Let me guess you have a letter. I thought so. There's a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact. Well, ain't it my lucky day? Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. I genuinely don't really know what it is about that guy that creeps me out so damn much. Maybe it's his face, maybe it's the way he runs, maybe it's his weird tiny whitey short shorts. Maybe it's the weird noises that he makes, I don't know. Maybe it's just a complete package, but... As much as he just looks like a postman, this dude creeps me the hell out. Oh, hello. What do you have to say? Zora Child, I heard he was taken to the bar on the other side of the southern road. Hmm, Telma's always got her hands full. Ah, uh, oh, wait a minute! That's got to be Rallis! How did I not even figure that out? If you would, for the sake of the peace in Hyrule, would you please make a donation? I guess I have an abundance of cash, we may as well. May the spirit of love descend upon you. If you continue to pray for peace, someday you will be surrounded with love. Okay, so today's lesson, give people money and pray a lot, and then one day you will get love. Then again, I guess that is kind of the whole Christianity thing, so... <laughs> what the hell do I know? Hello? Who the hell are you? Hey, kid. You look cool. Damn straight. Hey, don't you look good? Are you looking for something? I know. So you saw the new attraction on the Western Thoroughfare, right? Well, actually, no, I didn't, but I'm a little bit concerned that you keep telling me I look good. I think they want to have relations with me. I ain't down with that for many, many reasons. But yeah, anyway, so we gotta try and avoid Telma's bar for now, because the Zoro boy, that's gotta be Rallis. Makes perfect sense. I wonder what the guy's doing. He's looking right over here. Look. That guy's standing directly across from us. See? He's staring right at us! Uh... Okay. Oh, hello? What the hell are you doing? He's looking over here. I wonder what his story is. The man's standing directly across from us. See? He's looking right at us! Um... You two are paranoid and strange. And let me guess, you're like brothers or something. Can I go in here? Oh, I can! No, I can't. It's locked. Well, alright then. Have a bone! Okay, so I'm thinking this is probably where we have to go to actually, you know, get back to Ordon and Kakariko. Oh, there's a weird lantern man. I guess it's like a god or something? I don't know what the deal is with him, but it creeped me the balls out. Where do you die, sir? I guess I probably should lock on. That usually helps. Aha, uh -huh, deflected your arrows. Kind of hoping it would go back and hit him, but you can't have everything. Plunging attack! Damn man, right in the ass. <laughs> Not sure what's worse. Where are you going, buddy? Damn! I, I said that. Thank you. Okay, and you dropped me a heart that I don't need. Well, thanks. But yeah, this looks like it connects right back to the beginning of the Hyrule Field, which shouldn't be too far away from Ordon. So, frankly, I think I'm a genius. It's a... Is that a Goron? That... Wait a minute. Is this bridge down as well? What the hell? Ooh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. This is the end. The bridge is broken, so we cannot carry spring water. Now there is no way to work. Oh. I wish someone would fix this bridge. Son of a bitch. Seriously? I don't care about the Goron. I can't get across here. Well, what the hell? I... I don't know. I guess maybe we have to carry on with the main story, and somehow that allows us to get back to Kakariko and Ordon, because... Yeah, right now, there only seems to be two ways back. Broken bridge up there, and broken bridge down here. I have no idea. Screw it, I guess we're gonna carry on with the main story, because right now, I don't know what the hell else we're supposed to do. Okay, we're almost back at the bar. Who the hell are you? What? If you want to go to the Western Thoroughfare, just keep going straight down the back road. If you head out onto this path, you will be in Hyrule Field, but I don't know if the road goes all the way through. Ah, oh, okay, maybe that's where we need to go. My father cannot get any hot spring water to sell, so lately he just sits outside the eastern gates. I talk to him, but he just sighs. He does not seem to like—he does not seem like the father I used to know. 
This is so bad. I'm afraid my father will never be the same. I do not know what to do. Your father, frankly, sounds like he's got depression issues. And he also sounds like a terrible father if all he does is sit outside, you know, a gates. Like, look after your son, like, what the hell? I realize you're depressed, but don't be a dick about it. That is a Zora child. This is beyond my expertise. Humph. <laughs> nice glasses. Okay, that dude is, uh, kind of creepy. But then again, most people are in this game. Doctor, waits. If something isn't done, this child will. Oh, well, look who it is. Wow. You bitch, I saved you. Hey, it's Grumpy Cat. Well, this isn't good. A human doctor won't do, huh? That old coot reminded me, though. I've heard of a shaman in Kakariko Village in the Elden Lands who's tended Gorons and Zoras. Yeah, I can't need to get there. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there. Inadvisable. Too dangerous. But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. It's like a bunch of soul heirs. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? It's like a little fat one in everything. That's awesome. Well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two plains that are each infested by dangerous beasts. But we'll be safe now. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess. I'm gonna be the escort. Cowards, don't ever show your faces here again. Oh my. Don't I look dashing? Looks like we've got a young ones, one young swordsman left. I can read English sometimes. And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto. Did I call it? Or did I call it? Then again, I don't, I don't think that makes me, you know, a mystic. You know that girl, don't you? It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Oh, that's why she ignored me. I thought she was just being a bitch. Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. You lend your strength to her, you hear me? You're not the boss of me. Grumpy Cat, on the other hand, I take orders from you. Here, my girl, it's Grumpy Cat. So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the west. That's genius. Why didn't I find this bridge? What the hell? You see what that means? Uh... No. You'll have to deal with that thing. Oh, I already beat him like twice. Don't worry about it. Assuming that's the same one. It's probably not. To thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? I'm Link, the main character, bitch. Don't you forget it. Link? I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Link. Little lady, I think you best give your thanks and uh, save your thanks until we're safe in Kakariko. Probably true. The swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild, like a feral beast. You coming on to me? We need a visa right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely, we'll just thank him then, okay? Oh my god. How's she plan to thank me? Threesome? <laughs> I kind of feel like that's what Link thinks as well. White screen. You ready to roll, Link? You gotta protect these young ones on the way to Kakariko. Oh, great! 
we got to do a story thing out in the Hyrule Field after I already said Hyrule Field barely runs properly as it is. So I'm just going to forewarn you now, we're probably going to lag here. It's unfortunate that, that there's just nothing I can do about it. It's going to happen. It's already kind of chugging a little bit and nothing's happened yet. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but hopefully there's not too much main story stuff we have to do out in the field. But you never know, maybe we fight Ganon out here. Kind of wouldn't surprise me at this rate. You have two shields? What the hell? Okay, it's your turn, honey. We're counting on you. Great. What's this guy think? Is this Dark Souls or something? So, I'm guessing, you know, dual wielding shields, we're probably not supposed to melee him. So, uh, screw it. Let's go with the bow of justice. Boom, son. Well, it seemed to do something. Oh, shit. Da -da 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 -da. Don't tell me I did it already. Seriously? <laughs> Damn! I'm a little bit proud of myself. I figured it out and executed it right away. You got the gate keys. These keys open the gates along the path to Kakariko. Ah. Oh. So we probably needed those, otherwise we couldn't get back there anyway. So I was right. Nice, honey. Keep up the good work. You call me honey a whole hell of a lot. It's, it's a little bit patronizing, quite honestly. That, and I'm pretty sure she wants to nail me when we get back to Kakariko. And I could be wrong. You know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with older women. I'm all for older women. But she's like three times my age, surely. Maybe more. I don't know how old Link is. Oh god, the game's chuggy already. Please, no enemies. There's going to be an, there's an enemy right there. Son of a bitch. Okay, game, work with me here. It's... Really probably shouldn't stop and shoot these dudes, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Mostly it's a bad idea, because I'm really bad at aiming. <laughs> really, really bad. You know what, screw this. Give me a moment here to try and fix this shit. Okay, I reset the recording. Does seem to have helped the frame rate, at least for now, but I suspect this is probably going to happen again, but... Yeah, this is what I'm saying about the Hyrule field. Everywhere else in the game works perfectly. Anything in the Hyrule... Oh, shit. It's on fire. Okay, use the boomerang. Careful. And... Link. Fire the damn thing! I'm pressing the button, thank you! Okay, I think we saved it and the game is chugging again, what the hell? This is what I'm saying about the field, man. I don't get it. It's something about the fact that it, it seems to load the entire field as you go along instead of in chunks, so... It's like far too much for the game to render and it just starts slowing the hell down. Like I say, it's only out of the field that this happens, and it's mostly just an area used to get in between areas. It's not really a main area thing, except uh, now, apparently, typically. But, uh, yeah. Believe it or not, this is running way better than it was before. It was, it was like a slideshow before. Really? Really what shit? It's on fire again. Let's try the old pause trick. Did that fix the frame rates? Eh, a little bit, but kind of not really. Son of a bitch, everything die. I need to get this over with so we can stop lagging. It's so laggy. Okay, one more time. Okay, screw it. That's the last time I'm resetting a recording. It looks like we're kind of almost sort of not really there. Well, you know, we're most of the way there. So hopefully when this is over with, the game will run properly again. But yeah, I, again, I, I do apologize. There's really nothing I can do about this. The only other option really is that I just play the original GameCube version and that's going to be letterboxed and, you know, blurry because it's going to probably be rendered in 480p and... Just being able to record from my GameCube's probably going to be a giant pain in the dick. Plus, I'd have to play all the way back here. All for the sake of not lagging occasionally in the Hyrule field really doesn't seem worth it to me. Like I say, I did mess around for hours online trying to fix this. This is as good as it's going to work. And yeah, at least it's only in the field. If it was the entire game, then, you know, it wouldn't be playable. But uh, it's, it's just typical that as soon as I deal with this shit, the game's like, oh! Why didn't you do a main story thing in the field where there's tons of shit going on to slow the game down? Thanks. That's real freaking handy. Okay, now let's open it. Oh, God, get off opponent. I'm, I'm pressing the button here. What the hell? Okay, that's, uh... That's bad. That's real bad. You would... Oh, shit. Get out of here. Run. Go on, go on the... <laughs> Don't run into the wall. 
Go in the village, Link. Jesus, man. Oh, finally. Let's hope we never have to do anything story-related in the field again. Good lord. He has passed through the worst of it. As long as he rests, he shall recover in due time. Do you know the fate of his mother? Yes, yeah, she did. Her welfare consumes him. He has been mumbling deliriously about her almost constantly. I can see the knowledge grieves you. It must be an awful memory. She got, like, decapitated or some shits. I'll stay with him until he's better, no matter how long it takes. Is that so? Thank you, Colin. Hello? Game? Okay, thought it broke on me. Hey Link, about Ilya. Yes? Is it true what they said about her? Yeah, she's a real slut. Y yes, <laughs> she lost her memory, Colin, and regaining it will be no simple task. But it will be alright, child. Maybe. Santa's also real. If we just give her some time, I'm certain that Ilya will find her heart again. Or her memory. So Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. <laughs> so, about that reward. Mm. Nice to see there's still hope here. It's always good to see happy results repay your efforts. Those skills of yours. Any chance you're of the mind to put them to use of hi for Hyrule? I already have. What hope there is in our kingdom is frail and dying, but there's still a group trying to do what it can. And I'm a member of that group. Avalanche? Call me Tilma. Yeah, I kind of figured you were the bar owner. I may just stay here for a bit longer. I'm still worried about Ilya, and, well, never mind about the rest. Link, I want to see you again at my bar. You hear me? Oh, oh I hear you. The bar is actually a kind of safe house for my friends. There's a, passage, a passageway that leads to the castle from in there as well. If you ever need anything, stop by. I'll be waiting for you, honey. Yeah, she totally wants me. Like, real bad. And Link knows it, too. I'm guessing she's coming to give us our Zora flipper power thing? I don't really know. Hello? Ghost lady? I... Why are you running away from me? Is this a trap? You're just... You're, you're not even her, are you? You're gonna be some kind of evil thing, and you're gonna transform and turn into a boss fight. I kind of want to end the video, but I also want to find out what the hell's going on with this. It's gonna be 50-50. Either it's a trap, or she's gonna reward us. Though I don't know why we'd be here. Is she gonna show me, like, her grave or something? It's kind of messed up. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go up there, we still haven't lit these yet. So let's check this shit out and see what they do. Hey, it gives us something. Oh, my God. Now, don't get too excited. Let's be honest here. It's probably money. Then again, we do kind of need some now. Hey, 50 rupees. I'm okay with that. At least we can carry it. Okay, first of all, let's get rid of the lantern before we go wasting all the oil. So what do you want? What the hell is that? I guess it's a gravestone? Did she really lead me to her grave? This is weird, man. I kinda dig it, though. Oh, and by the way, now that we can actually hear the background music, how damn awesome is the soundtrack of this game? Like, holy shit. And yes, I realize I'm talking over it, but what do you want from me?
Yep, that's uh, that's totally her grave, isn't it? This is some weird shit. I'm deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kagriga Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. So is this your husband's grave? Either way, I can't help but, you know, we're grave robbing here. This is kind of messed up. You got the Zora armor. This special garment was handed down through the Zora royal family. If you have it equipped, you can move freely through water, but you will be more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Ah, sounds kind of sucky. I mean, you know, no offense. Thanks anyway. Now at last, I can join the king in slumber. And yet, my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. Well, ain't this depressing. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Way to ruin the mood, Midna. Well, it's a good thing you found all of your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? Let me guess the shadow. That last few shadow. Remember what Farron the Light Spirit said? Not at all. He said you would need the few shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zent and save the world. So even if you go back now with all of the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Lake Hylia. I know where to go. I don't trust you at all. She's getting very, very pushy. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end it here next time. We'll check out our nifty Zora armor, as she calls it. And we'll search around Kakariko, see what new stuff we can buy, and we'll go get the final blade skill that we're missing. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Zelda.